In a minute, Dr. G's going to deliver a special talk in just a minute. As part of our monthly uh, endeavor here, we're going to reach out to the community across the street, across state lines, right? Hey, listen, speaking of state lines, we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, did you know that Center Point Church, the church, I'm a member of Center Point Church, I got my letter. I did, I got a letter here. I remember the church there. And everybody needs to stick around till after the uh, the meeting tonight because there's something special for everybody that showed up. We, we pl I plan on 25 people showing up, so Dr. G might have to talk extra long. I don't know. He's going to deliver a short talk on the historical place and significance of the congregation that we made, the church that we now call Center Point Church of Colton. It used to be the First Baptist Church of Colton. And you know that my mom. It's a side story, but my mom got saved there when she was a little yeah. girl. My mom actually got saved at Center Point Church when she was a kid. It was a first Baptist church back in those days, right? You know what I'm talking about, right? You guys can have these. You know what? It, right? No, she got saved, and I and I we're here now. I'm telling everybody if they would like to try out a church, go ahead and check out the Center Point. It's not for everybody. Most likely, it's not for a lot of people, but it's working out for me just fine. And since I've been a listen, Center Point needs to write me a check. Since I've been, I'm not lying, since I've started attending Center Point Church on, well, I don't even remember the date, I remember the 11th, 7th, whatever it was, but my life has turned around completely since I started going to church out there, right? Hey, Marie, it's glad to see all our wonderful friends here tonight. I have so many jokes I want to tell, but not quite the time, not yet. you got to be careful. I'm not really doing my act yet. But Dr. G is going to be delivering a short talk on this subject, the history and significant historical significance of Center Point Church in Colton since 1887. What are we talking about here? This church has been around here forever. It's part of Colton, so we're going to try to feature a different church, Christian church, every Sunday. And I invited the Mormons, but they're not here. I did, no, I, did. I invited the elders, right? Elder Goldhart, if you're watching, and Wilson, I invited them. And I'm going to church with them tomorrow after church. I'm going to their church. First time I've ever going to a Mormon church. I've never been. Right? And then, uh, but, you know, it's, but I do have one Mormon joke. You want to hear my one Mormon joke? Yes. Okay. Have you ever noticed the thing about Mormons is they're really good at acting like they're following Jesus? You know what I'm saying? I'm just joking. Not really. Okay. I want, I want, I, do we have anybody here that's either a minister from out of town or a minister or missionary from out of town and you'd like to uh, open our meeting up a prayer room. Okay. All right. You're a yoga instructor. Yoga instructor, you want to open up our meeting in prayer? Would you like to say a blessing over our meeting tonight? No? Okay. Well, consider our meeting blessed. Great. Come on up. Great. You know, my, my wife's a minister all, in many ways, too. She's performed a wedding once. Yeah. It was an efficient for a wedding. And it was so fun. So uh, you can bow your head, you can close your eyes, you can do whatever you want. What you think? You don't have to stay up to the prayer. Are you going to take a video of my phone? Great. We're, oh, we're, we're, that's we're, okay. We've got it. We've got it. Buy it later. Okay. <laughs> Lord, we come before you with open hearts. I thought, uh, no. You know what you could have said? You could have said, and I'm not finished yet. Well, right, thank you. That was wonderful. Now, Dr. G said he will give a talk like this every month if we ask him on a different church every month to call me. Right? Am I right? You, you said it, right? Okay, good. So, now we're going to go ahead and start our comedy show. Right? Did you guys, did you guys come to laugh? Right? Now, I do have some questions I have. Our feature comic tonight is Brian Petrasic. Normally, he'll headline, you know, all over. He does, he's been doing comedy for years. He's been organizing shows, producing shows, booking, coaching, and he does radio, podcasts, that kind of stuff. But he is good. tonight going to, he said he can do a, he said he can do 20 minutes clean tonight. <laughs> clean. Now, I don't know what that means. Right? I don't know what that means, but he says he can do 20 minutes clean. But this is not a necessarily, it doesn't have to be a clean show. Where he, hey, you know what I found today? 
the uh, you guys want to sing a song? Okay. So here's what I did tonight. I have a book here that we. Do you want the jokes? Okay. We had to. Do we? Listen. Um, I have a lot of questions too. Do you guys? Do you guys ever have uh, questions? I do have jokes. I don't have a lot of jokes about everything because I only know about some things, right? Like I don't really have any jokes about the military. I'm never in the military. Any guy anybody here who's ever in the military? Really? Nobody? I was in ROTC in high school. Okay, well, that's close enough. We're falling apart. Yeah. I'm serious. Yeah. Um, no, because I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't feel qualified to tell jokes about everything, some things that I don't know about, right? But I can ask questions, and I, can, I can ask questions. So I do have a lot of questions. And if, you, and if you're in the military, I would say you're in the military. Would you? I would say that if you're in the military, you're in the military, right? Or if you're in the family. If you're a family of a military person that's in the military, you're in the military. You're in the military, right? Are you in the military, Marie? No. No? Sean was, a little bit, right? His dad was in the military. His dad's the military, right? So, but I don't, I have questions, and for instance, right? Who, who do you think is qualified to answer questions about the military or to make observations or make a joke about the military? Kyle Rittenhouse? No. no. Alan Baldwin? Maybe. I don't know. Were they ever in the military? I don't know. But now these are two people. Things moving forward as they are, right? I'm serious. Things moving forward. Things are done. All things are done. But I think in retrospect, no, I, I'm serious. And I'm not joking around. I think we can, we can say, I can say this. Two people... We can go back. Two people should never have their hands on guns. It's Alec Baldwin and Kyle Rittenhouse. It's just him. He should have never. Kyle Rittenhouse should have never had a gun. Okay. Alec Baldwin should have never had a gun. It's that simple. Fine. So should I be asking these people about the military, about the Marines? Maybe not. How about Penny Marshall? No, Penny Marshall's dead. I wouldn't ask her. Right? But was she ever? But was she ever in the military? I don't know. So. That's the thing is I don't I don't want to hear anything about you know carry jokes or anything until we can establish because until you can show me that Penny Marshall has any reason to say anything about the military I don't want to hear anything else about it okay is that is that I'm not is that odd no because Penny Marshall's dead and I don't even know if she's ever in the military but I I, I do have a question. You know, my godson, he's in the Marines. He was, well, he was in the Marines. And have you ever noticed how early these guys get up? Yeah. Marines, they get up early, right? Yeah, and there's nobody in the military in here? Oh, oh GC, right, yeah. But now, you know why? I, I don't know. I've asked them. But you know why they, I think they get up so early, Marine? Because they got a lot of stuff to do. Right? Do you think Marines got a lot of stuff to do? They do. Really? I wish there was a Marine. I wish there was a Marine here right now. I can tell him or her. Seriously. First to fight, right? First to fight. That's crazy. But that's what they do. That's their job. They got to get a party. They got a lot of stuff to do. That's a different one. I'm working on that one. Let's introduce our feature. But first, let's sing a song. And so I'm just going to go ahead and sing because I, I know that uh, I know this one. I was going to sing a different one. And I will tell you, I will say one of the greatest gospel singers ever. Flat out. And we're lucky we ever were ever this. But Jimmy Swaggy, hands down, the absolute best gospel singer that I, you know, in modern time. Flat out. Seriously, he's right up there with Dio, Jerry Lee Lewis, Jimmy Swaggy. Whitney Houston. Yes, Whitney Houston, a fabulous gospel singer. So, I was once a sinner, then I came, pardon to receive from my Lord. This was freely given, and I found that he always keeps his word. Well, there's a new name written down in glory. And it's mine. Oh, yes, it's mine. 
side and the wild old angels sing the story a sinner has come home well there's a new name written down in glory and it's mine oh yes it's mine with my sins forgiven i am bound for heaven Evermore to roam. Yeah. In the book is written, saved by grace, all oh, the joy that flooded my soul. <laughs> now I am forgiven, and I know by the blood I am made whole. Man, any song that sounds like you. You could be playing a, 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 an organ grinder with a monkey for it's awesome. <laughs> right? So I'm going to um, give turn it over to Brian. Contrasting. He's going to feature tonight. And we have another one, but other than that, we got a special surprise. Don't anyone leave. Everyone is getting a special surprise tonight, special gift. Everybody gets a new car, just joking. Yeah. But we're taking an offering tonight for the dogs, dear friends. Yeah. Also, Listen, for the canine unit, the police dogs, these dogs, they retire, they get injured on the job. Brian, come on forward, my dear friend. Yeah. And then also, don't forget, we had a, several of our friends that were, their lives were destroyed, decimated this morning by a tornado overnight in Kentucky, I read. I heard it on the news. So let's, let's be mindful of that. If you have a way to give money to them or, or spend some time helping them or thinking about them in some way that will produce some material benefit, for these people that had their homes and their lives destroyed by this tornado, right? Am I right? Yeah, good. I told my wife that it's a good thing. It's too bad God never destroyed the earth with a tornado. We wouldn't have to worry about those anymore. Right? Am I right? Hey, you were a Fontana Christian School student, am I right? Yes. Hey, you know who I saw? I was on the page. So many people have passed on. Okay. Our, our 20 minutes, Brian, I'm going to hit yeah. the music cue when his time is up. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Petrosi. Yeah. All right, so I'm getting the music down with Sandra telling me to wrap it up like, yeah, baby. My name's Brian Petrosi. It's been a pleasure performing with you guys. Hey, it's been a rough time, but you know what? It's going to get better. I guarantee you guys. It's getting better, and the fact that we all came out tonight, if I made one person smile and not beat me up in the parking lot, I figure we all succeeded tonight. God bless you guys. Peace. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Great, thanks. Great friend. I've known Brian for years. He's a wonderful person. He's a great friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I want to say also now, our friend, we got a guy coming up right now. I think this might be. Right. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I think we passed the danger zone for kids. Good. We don't know how to end yet. So we're going to sing one song here. I got a song I'm going to sing. What we're going to do is, I brought, I, have, I know the song, but I'm going I'm to I'm challenge myself with the tune here. Right? Okay? And then, Andrew's got to come up. He's going to do five minutes. He said, right? Yeah. Well, let's, we're going to sing the song for us. Okay. Right, you ready? You guys can sing it. You know. Yeah. Oh, wonderful grace of Jesus, greater than all my sin. How shall my tongue be it? Where shall its praise begin? Taking away my burden. Setting my spirit free for the wonderful grace of Jesus reaches me. Wonderful, the precious grace of Jesus. Wait a minute, I forgot the words. <laughs> Deeper than the mighty rolling sea. Higher than the mountains. Sparkling like a fountain. All sufficient grace for me. Rob it on the scope of my transgression. Oh, greater God than all my sin and shame. Oh, magnify the precious name of Jesus. 
praise his name. Also, you guys have a good gardener? Yeah, you have a gardener? Okay. Is if you want, you can, you can meet my Jesus. He's a great gardener. You guys need a gardener? Would you like to invite my Jesus into your life? Okay. Talk me up for sure. I got his number. Jesus Galdamas, he's doing a great job. He has the same name as my Savior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. But I'm praising the name of Jesus, my gardener. But tonight I'm praising the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. Okay, here you go. Andrew, there you go. Andrew! Speak up. How's it going, everybody? How's it going, man? All right, this is for the old school. I love y'all. Colton, baby, I love you. And Colton. Colton. All right. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, love the, I love the lights too, man. Wait, Andrew Gowson, everybody, give him a hand. Very funny guy. Also, great guy, too. Look at him. He, he's on the Christmas spirit, too. Fantastic. Thank you. Good job, Al. uh, Alex. Alex called you Alex. Andrew, good job. Fantastic. So, next month, we're, we should be having some different comics out. Okay, I'm going to do a short set. And. Uh, we had a keynote speaker tonight named Keith Hosea, but he couldn't make it, so I'm going to fill in for him. I'm going to be his keynote. So I'll do a little bit of my set. So we'll, we're going to have an open mic in a minute. Absolutely. Totally. We're not done with the open mic. We're, we'll have the open mic in a minute. And then we will uh, open it up for now. So make resources if anybody has any good jokes and stories you want to tell. Oh, I promised a friend of mine. <laughs> I should have done highway James, oh, yeah. talking. No, Poor fire. P O R P H I R E. Poor fire candles. Yeah, look it up online. Poor fire candles. He's doing candles out there. Okay, friends. Uh, let me ask you this question real quick because I know we're on limited time and we're just about to wrap up with the open mic. How, is anybody here? Does anybody here enjoy comedy? You know, going up and seeing comedy? Okay, so is this something you'd like to support? On a monthly basis, you'd like to see something like this? Normally, we'll have more comics and we'll be more... We had a couple guys back out the last minute because of the time schedules, but next month, we're, we're planning on it really being good. Uh, even better than this. We're trying to set something up for Come and do comedy right here, Colby. Have a place where they can do comedy and perform it if they want to. Right? Okay. So, yeah, I really didn't come prepared to do any jokes tonight. I was looking at some old uh, jokes from my book. And, uh, give me that little notebook right there, Andrew. I'll, I'll just we'll do one out of the book. Yeah, right, right there. Thanks. He's walking like I am. So, but I have tonight. Uh, I found this old book here. Let's see what kind of jokes I have in here. Oh, here's one. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what this is. Uh, this is from about 2017, I think. I was writing these jokes in 2017. Um, oh, here's one. Oh. Obama news is like reading the children's Bible stories about Jesus. Okay. I don't know what that means. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Who knows? Obama has great skin. Does anybody here think Obama has great skin? Yeah. yeah I had a lot of people who didn't like that joke. They said, no, he doesn't. He's the devil. I don't know. Does the devil have good skin? I don't know. <laughs> so, um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not here. Listen, do you guys like it when you go to a comedy show? Do you guys go to a comedy show so you can, so you can learn how to vote and, and what kind of medicine to take? Do you do that? No? Isn't that funny? Right? People go, they go to these shows and if you said, um, Something that somebody else didn't want to hear, they'd say, oh, I didn't like that minute. You know, if you said something that they wanted to hear, they'd say, Right, like if I said, uh, Oh, Alec Baldwin, should, he should have never had a gun, right? I mean, I don't think we could all agree. Looking back, right, you think Alec Baldwin should have never had a gun. Kyle Rittenhouse should have never had a gun. Looking back, right? But I think if somebody said, Yeah, that's right. Yeah, now they fought somebody finally said what I agree with. Alec Baldwin should have never had a gun. All right, fine, whatever. <laughs> the thing is this, listen, you know what needs to happen? I will tell you what needs to happen. Brittany, Brittany, I'm going to tell you what needs to happen. And then I'm going to turn it over to the open mic. Listen, I'll tell you what needs to happen. <laughs> you know what needs to happen? Kyle Rittenhouse. Let me, let me tell you what needs to happen with Kyle Rittenhouse. You guys know who Kyle Rittenhouse is? Yeah. Right. It's a horrible story. He should have never had a gun. 
But the thing is this, look, he just needs to get washed in the blood of the Lamb. Yeah. And if he is, and that's all there is to it. Kyle Rittenhouse just needs to get washed in the blood of the Lamb, and that's all there is to it. All right. And and if he is already washed in the blood of the Lamb, right? If Tucker Carlson is watching, he needs to get washed in the blood of the Lamb too. And, and if he is, Kyle Rittenhouse needs to find a good church and needs to become a member and needs to start paying his tithes. All right, all right? Yeah. Kyle Rittenhouse needs to get washed in the blood of the Lamb. And if he is already washed in the blood, and that's all there is to it. That's it. And if he is already washed in the blood of him and Alan Baldwin too. And if he is already washed in the blood of the Lamb, he needs to find a good church and needs to become a member and needs to start paying his tithes. His tithes. Right? 10% of everything he makes. Amen. Other than that, I don't want to hear any, anything about it. Until somebody could demonstrate to me that either Kyle Rittenhouse is ever in the military or Penny Marshall, we can raise her from the dead and I can ask her anything about the military. Other than that, drop it. I don't want to talk about it. I'm serious. Okay, friends, I'm going to say the final word for tonight and then we're going to turn it over to the open mic if anybody has any announcements, resources, jokes to tell. Uh, who knows what's about to come forward, but I've always said, I think the church is literally... Literally. Remember the lady that used to do the literally act on Mad TV? Literally. Remember her? Nicole Sullivan. Boy, she was great. She's fantastic. National treasure. Right? Would you say Michael Keaton is a national treasure? Or, 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 or a reasonable deal that we got, and we're lucky to have got that deal. Reasonable. National treasure or a great deal regionally? I feel like national treasure. Okay, Michael Keaton? Yeah. Okay, good. All right. All right. Okay. All right, one more, and I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it, or I'm turn it over. I'm, I'm going to say this. Say it. I am going to say it. Say it. The prequels are better than the original trilogy. They are. The prequels are better than the original trilogy, and I'll tell you why. Because they make the original trilogy better. Am I right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> they do. And the prequels are better than the original trilogy. Oh, oh you didn't. Oh, well done. <laughs> Watch them in order. Watch Star Wars, <laughs> Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi. Phantom Menace. You can have a friend tell you about Attack of the Clones. There's some good parts in it, but it's a long movie. It's a great movie, actually. Wow. And then we're basically to sit. Great movie. All right. I said it. Come on up if you have an open mic, and maybe we're going to be... Uh... Good, let's go. Hey, what's happening, y'all? We out here in Monday. Colton. People would be leaving early. Right? Great. No, this is good. Yeah, look at that. See? This, this is the thumbnail right here. Right, it's right in the thumbnail, right there. Excellent. Okay, are we just about ready to... Um, man, you know, I had, a lot of, I had a lot of jokes, but this is not the time tonight for them. Right? Right, because I got those, those other jokes that I don't want to tell you. Right? The survivor jokes? No. Oh, the car dealership. Oh, here's a good one, right? Right? Cardi, right? Oh, the guy. Do you remember it? You tell it, cause I can't remember it. This is a joke. Uh, this is a joke by Randy Lopez. Just the one. I'm not plagiarizing. This is a joke written by so Randy Lopez. All right. This is his own joke. He says, <clears throat> "I hate car dealers. I hate car dealers. Why? Because they lie." They lie every time. They come and they tell me, hey man, let me help you. Let me help you buy a car. But now, brother, is it really you helping me buy a car? Or is it me helping you buy a car? Okay? Because that's really how it is. That's not how it went. Or is it me helping you help me buy a car? Exactly. Good memory, great. Mm -hmm. I, I love good. that joke. That joke was funny. Okay, tell it again this time faster. Okay, okay. <laughs> I hate car dealerships. I hate car dealers. They always lie. Every time. Okay? They always say, let me help you buy a car. But is it really you help me? Let me help you buy a car? Or is it you help me buy a car? Really? Really, really, really. Toyota Don. Welcome to my world. <laughs> welcome to my world. <laughs> Nobody laughs. Welcome to my world. Hey. 
but I, I knew that joke was funny. It was, good job. Yep. Hey, see, people can do joke covers. This is what I was telling you about. You do a joke cover. When the guy can't remember his own jokes, he told me better. <laughs> yeah, we just waiting for half the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me see this real quick. You know, I was sitting looking at Andrew, let me, you know what I learned with me? Did you know that the original Santa Claus was from Turkey? Did you know that? Santa Claus, the original guy, St. Nick, the guy, was from Turkey, and he was a brown-skinned person. Isn't that crazy? All these brown-skinned people that are, that are on our walls. Oh, I did oh, Yeah, he's, he, was a, he was a Turk. He was, he was a Turk. Yeah. Like, uh, like, Jake Huger from Turkey. Right. So he looks like you a bit with a lighter skin possible. Yeah. Are you from Turkey? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Any family members? No. <laughs> Are we ready? You ready to hit it? Okay, here we go. Tell me when you want. Alright. First play right now. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, folks. Great close out. Great close out. Thank you so much. Andrew. And thank you so much, everyone, for coming out this evening. What a wonderful night. Thank you, Skyler. Thank you, Andrew, Reagan. Great performance. Brian Petrasic, wonderful. Dr. Great. Thank you so much to all our friends. I want to thank all of my friends for coming out. Don't forget, we have our bucket here. We're collecting money from the police guards. They uh, retire due to injury or they sometimes they get too old to work as police stars. And then we want to thank everyone that uh, yeah, thanks for the closes. Have a good night, everyone. See you next time. All right, good night.
And the wise old angels to sing a story. Yeah. How you doing? Who you talking to? Who you talking to? You need to tell them about this place. A sinner has come home. Well, there's a new name written down in glory. And it's mine. Oh, yes. It's in Las Vegas now? Is it still Las Vegas? It is right now. All right. When I was growing up, it was the Oakland Raiders. And that was a scary town because of the Raiders. Most of them. And then Jerry Brown went there and it got scarier, but that's okay though. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. No, I'm good. I voted for him once. Once. Yeah. Hey, I voted for Obama once too. The second time he ran, right? Because of it. No, I'm serious. I got two books. We're giving away two books tonight. And I need ten people. Or how many people are in here tonight? How many people are here tonight? Fifty? You think there's a hundred? I need 10 people to write me a check for $100. Who can do that? And then I'm going to give away two of these books for free. But I'll give them away for free if I need 10 people in here to write me a check for $100. You got a checkbook? Yeah. Hey, I voted for Obama once, too. The second time he ran, right? Because of it. No, I'm serious. No, I'm serious. Obamacare, man. Hey, thanks a lot, Obama. I didn't have health care before Obamacare, right? I'm not serious. Hey, listen. Have you ever noticed? Listen. How many people here? We got any mentally ill people here like me? Right? Mentally ill Joe Biden supporters? Joe Biden voters? I'm not necessarily a Joe Biden supporter, but I am a mentally ill Joe Biden voter. Amen. Amen. How many here agree with me and believe this? Joe Biden is the president for mentally ill people. Amen. He better be. I voted for him. He better be. I'm the guy that voted for him. I'm the most mentally ill person here. Amen. Hey, you got any mentally ill Biden voters? Mentally ill Trump supporters? Amen. But how about me, like I voted for Hillary in 2016, right? The war's annoying loser. All right. Hey, listen. Amen. Amen. All right, I saw that. I don't know about tomorrow. I just live from day to day. We're wrapping it up now. Yeah? I don't borrow from the sunshine Oh, the sun may turn green I don't worry for the future For I know what Jesus said And I know he holds tomorrow and I know he holds my hand. Many things about tomorrow I don't see to understand. But I know who holds tomorrow. And I know he holds my hand. All right. Listen, who wants to copy the book? And trust me, listen, listen, no, 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 listen, listen. If you didn't like this act, don't take this book. If you thought this act was weird, and you want to warn people that, you need to smart. Now who wants it? Who wants to take it? No problem. I need 10 people to write me a check for $100. We'll see you in St. Louis. All right, give it up for Randy one more time. All right, Randy. All right. All right. I don't know, I can't sing like that guy. So I sing my way to lead. Thank you so much for setting up today. I want to thank you. My name is Randall. Now on the internet, my name is... How are you doing tonight, Adrian? Well, I packed room. We need a bigger room, man. It's here for Adrian. Woo! And all the performers. I want to thank the organizers. I assume it's George. 
He's out there, man. And I've asked a couple of uh, people about some dates and locations. I want to thank the venue, Retro Taco. I want to thank all the performers that came out. And I want to thank the gentleman here, CW, right? Got it right. There's another guy I missed him, Jonathan, or your guy? Yeah. Great job. Thank you so much. My name is Randall. On the internet, it's Sarandal Slopez. S. Randall S. Lopez. That's right. The S is silent unless you say it. Man, man, brother. Oh, let's see now. Put your hand in the hand of the man who still the water. Put your hand in the hand of the man who calmed the sea. Take a look at yourself and then you can look at others differently by putting your hand in the hand of the man from Galilee. That's a, that's a little different, that joke. Amen. All right. Hey, listen. I'm going to tell some classics tonight. Amen. The news first. Gas prices are going through the roof. Gas prices are going through the roof, friends. And that's the good news. Can you imagine? Let's hope the gas prices get up to $50 a gallon. My nephew won't have to go over there and fight. Isn't that great? Let's pray to God that these gas prices will go up to $60 a gallon. Maybe people might actually stop driving. <laughs> Look, look at all the notes I took, man. Life hack. Who's the president? Hey, somebody's got to be the president, right? Amen. Somebody's got to be the president. Well, who is it? Do you know? Who's the president? Who? Friends, let me tell you. Why is this guy asking so many questions? Hey, did you guys, did you guys do yourself? Did you guys take your ivermectin today? No? No self-reporting of ivermectin? Friends, I'm running out of jokes to tell. I can't, I don't tell certain jokes, friends. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. How you doing? Praise the Lord. Don't leave the Lord hanging. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ. Hey, listen, did you know, hey, how many people like me are Christian? You don't get involved in politics, all right? You just wait for the Lord to come back and kill everybody that's not like you. Not like me. Amen. Or not like you if you're like me. But you got to be exactly like me. Amen. The Lord's going to come back and kill you. Not exactly like me, amen. But hey, don't you want to be like me or you can go to hell? Hey, you guys know what a Christian is, don't you? Christians are, hey, how many people? Hey, have we got any experts in here on anything? Any experts? No Christians? Christians are experts in everything, friends. I'm joking, man. Look, not all Christians. Yes, yes, not all Christians. George, give me the light, brother. When I'm ready, I'm gonna get my altar call and take my offering. How many people? Hey, listen, man. The gas prices are going. Hey, did you know the founder of our, Here's the news. Did you know shocking news, friends? The founder of our country was a slave owner. A known slave owner. One of them. Yeah? How about that? And a, one of them was serial rapist, friends. A serial rapist! One of the founding fathers, friends. What do you think of that? Man, sure. can I get an amen? Don't leave the Lord hanging. Amen. 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 My mama taught me how to pray before I received to seven. And we'll close out now. <laughs> when I'm down on my knees, that's the time I'm closest to heaven. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my daddy lived his life with two kids and a wife, and he did what he could do. But he sure gave me enough to let me know what I could do. Oh, yeah. Your Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great evening. Don't forget to gas prices are going through the roof. And that's the good news, friends. Jesus saves. Call on the name of the Lord and you'll be saved. And on my gardener, Jesus, if you need, need a long job. <laughs> Amen. And don't forget, we're, we're signing copies of our book tonight, friends. Anybody want to buy the book for $5? All right. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We'll see you next time, friends. At Retro Taco! <laughs> It almost seems like Randall Stokes. But... Oh, perfect. All right, everybody. Perfect. All right, everybody. Randall Stokes on stage. Just make some noise. Amen. 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 Amen.
Yes. 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 If I could be you, if you could be me, for just one hour, oh, if we could find a way to get inside each other's minds, if you could see you through my eyes instead of your ego, I believe you see, I believe you see that you can fly. Thank you, MPL Riverside. Thank you. 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 Th
Should be here. We go. Okay. Go ahead, man. <laughs> hey, we're at Center Point Church today, friends. It's beautiful. It's Christ. Can you put a song today, friends? If you know it, you can sing it. And if you're clapping along, go ahead. Put your hand in the hand of the man who stilled the waters. Put your hand in the hand of the man. Come to see. Take a look at yourself, and you can look at others differently by putting your hand in the hand of a man from Galilee. Oh, oh, uh. My mama taught me how to pray before I reached the age of seven. Yes. Uh. When I'm down on my knees, that's when I'm closest to heaven. Oh yeah. My daddy lived his life with two kids and a wife and he did what he could do. And he showed me enough of what it takes to get me through. Ah, put your hand in the hand of the man who stilled the waters. Come on. Put your hand in the hand of the man who calmed the sea. Take a look at yourself, and you can look at others differently by putting your hand in the hand of a man from Galilee. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Dodgers. Amen. Dodgers. Listen, just to let you know, what a time we live in. Historic times, my friends. Hey, does it, can someone give me a napkin, please? I need to throw this gum. Listen, friends, I'm going to tell you, we live in historic times. I was born as an angel. I was an angel fan by birth. You can't change what you are by birth. And I, praise the Lord, I'm a Dodgers fan by marriage. Praise God, miracles never cease. We sit together, friends at the table. We root for the team. Well, it depends on the freeway series or not. <laughs> the freeway series, you know, right? Well, if you know the song, sing with me. And if you can clap, clap. Put your hand in the hand of the man who still the waters. Put your hand in the hand of the man who calm the sea. Woohoo! Take a look at yourself, and you can look at others differently by putting your hand in the hand of a man from Galilee. I'll do it myself. <laughs> My mama taught me how to pray before I reached the age of seven. <laughs> And when I'm down on my knees, that's when I'm closest to heaven. My daddy lived his life with two kids and a wife, and you do what you can do. Somebody showed me enough of what it takes to get me through. Yeah! Put your hand in the hand of the man who stilled the water. Yeah! Put your hand in the hand of the man who come to see. Take a look at yourself and you can look at others differently by putting your hand in the hand of the man from Galilee. Yeah! Whew. Little Tom Cruise there, baby. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Can I get an amen? And if you amen. need a gardener, friends, call upon my Jesus. He'll save you from the hell of a bad yard. Jesus Galdamez, he's doing a hell of a job out there. Friends, sir or madam, don't want to assume that were you ever a man or were you ever a woman, don't answer. But we are accepted here, friends, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Have you ever met my Jesus? Do you need a gardener? No. 
Thank you. You want to receive my Jesus in your life? Meet me after the show. I got his number. He's doing a heck of a job, friends. My Jesus. Call on him today. Jesus, Cal Collins. All right. And also call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and you'll be saved, friends. And I'm not talking about your gardener or mine. But if you need a gardener, friends, my Jesus, call upon him. Amen. Hey, friends, have you seen the prices of gas are going through the roof? The gas prices are going through the roof, friends. And we live in historic times. Listen, did you know, give me the one minute light when I get to a minute, I need to take, take up an offering and give my altar call. Amen. Can I get an amen? Don't leave the Lord hanging. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, friends, have you seen the news? The bad news. It's all over town. Listen, friends. Gamer plus brewer equals game craft. Friends, this is the beer paper. This is the paper for people here drinking beer. Friends, if you're into this kind of stuff, this is the news for you. But if you want to hear the good news, friends, there's good news today, friends. Gas prices are going through the roof. That's great news, friends. We'll see you next time, friends. Is that it? Was that it? All right. Gas prices are going through the roof, friends, and that's the good news. Yeah.